Hey, what's up everyone? Robin Crin here. Welcome to Threadheads. So the other day I had the craziest dream about cosmetics. So I decided then and there that we should definitely show how to make some simple everyday products that are not only cruelty free, but are good for you and the planet. So to start off, we need to get our materials. Our first stop is the local farmer's market to pick up some beeswax. If you don't have any local bee farmers in your area, you can always get it online. My favorite source is mountainroseherbs.com. And if you're looking for a vegan alternative to beeswax, try Shea Butter. You can get it over at naturesshebutter.com. All right, so to pick up the rest of our supplies, we're headed to our local natural foods market. Okay, now that we have all of our supplies, we can head back to our laboratory. <laughs> you mean our kitchen? Yeah. All right, let's get started. First up, the bomb bomb. Just get out a Pyrex measuring cup and measure out about one ounce of coconut oil. Now take out your beeswax and grate about two ounces into your measuring cup. Now that you have your coconut oil and your beeswax all measured out, get a pot, put a little bit of water in it, and turn it on a low heat. Now all you have to do is just take your Pyrex cup, put it right in the pot, stir it around as you're waiting, and it'll help it melt a lot faster. Carefully remove the measuring cup, let it cool for just a little bit, and then you're going to add about five drops of your favorite essential oil. Just give it a little bit of a stir. Next, take out a clean container and just pour your liquid right into the container. And then you just have to wait for it to harden and use it. And guess what? You have yourself some bomb bomb. Moisturized. All right, so for the guys, we're gonna do a very simple hairspray which only involves lemon and water. First, grab yourself an organic lemon and cut it up into small pieces, making sure not to cut your fingers off in the process. Next, add two cups of water to a small pot, throw in your chopped lemon, and bring to a boil. You're going to want to keep your mixture boiling for a while till your contents have been reduced by half. Then remove it from the heat and let it cool. Now simply grab some cheesecloth in a jar and start straining your new hair product. Pour the contents into a handy dandy spray bottle and you're done. Your finished product will give your hair a light hold and make it smell pretty lemony fresh. Just style to your desired do and store it in your fridge and make sure you replace or discard your product after about one week. Hey, I'm Luca from Lollibomb Beauty, and today I'll be showing you a cheap and easy sugar scrub. Your ingredients are fair trade raw cane sugar, organic sunflower oil, organic sweet almond oil, and your favorite essential oil. Grab a bowl and spoon, and you're ready to go. Start with one cup of sugar. Be sure to chop up the granules with your spoon to get a little bit finer. So how'd you get started doing all this? I wanted to start a company that reflected my personality, and I really enjoyed fun fragrances, fun products, and stuff that was good for you. And I've been sharing my creations with everyone ever since. Now just pour your sugar into the bowl. Now you're gonna add your sweet almond oil. You're gonna wanna add enough to where it saturates the sugar, but not so much that it sits as an oil on top of the sugar. So go ahead and add that in, and then mix it up so it gets nice and saturated. Organic sunflower oil is another great choice for your sugar scrub. It's high in vitamins A, D, and E, and it's deeply nourishing for the skin. And you want to drop in about a teaspoon. 
So why is cane sugar good for the skin? It helps exfoliate dead skin cells off the body. And then the sunflower oil and the sweet almond oil that we use also help condition the skin. The next step is adding your favorite essential oil. Make sure to add only a few drops at a time. It is concentrated and you will want to test for allergies. So there you have it, your own sugar scrub. Be sure to make it small batches and use right away. And when you're using the shower, try to minimize the amount of water that you get into it. That way you'll keep it fresher longer. For more vegan bath and body treats, check me out at lollibomb.etsy.com or smellpretty.com. Bye, Luca. So when it comes to making your own cosmetics, you have a bunch of options. But if you really want to get serious about it, I recommend this book by Gil Farrer Halls. Natural Beauty Recipe Book, How to Make Your Own Organic Cosmetics and Beauty Products. Or just go to makeyourcosmetics.com for a bunch of great recipes and tips. And if you just don't have time to DIY your own products, you should definitely check out Kapali's line of 100% organic cacao butter body care. That not only smells great, which is a plus when you're trying to pick up chicks, but also supports sustainable cacao farming in Central America and the Caribbean. But if you're looking for a full array of makeup, the best company we found is My Essence. They really pride themselves on using organic ingredients and no harmful products. Remember, just because a cosmetic says organic doesn't necessarily mean that it contains all organic ingredients. Some of them have some pretty harmful things in them. To learn more, head over to the Organic Consumers Association and the Campaign for Safe Cosmetics. Alright, we have some amazing Threadbanger news for you this week. First and foremost, we were nominated for a Webby. If you didn't already know, the Webbies are like the Oscars for the internet, and we're super honored to be nominated. So head on over to their website and vote for Threadbanger. And now for the really big news. As you may remember, a while back we ran a contest giving away a brand new sewing machine. Well, the folks at Janome saw the incredible response from everyone, and they've decided to help sponsor the show. So thanks to you, they'll be hooking us up with more sewing machines to give away, introducing us to awesome designers, and helping us out with some killer lessons and sewing tips. So if there's anything you want to see on the show, now's the time to hit us up. And make sure to keep watching for more giveaways and Janome madness. Ow. See you next week.